these people are like brothers and sisters to me. And the gospel music community is really tight. It's really tight. Don't stop playing, son. Keep on playing. Amen. <laughs> you, you keep on that. That's right. We need some mood music that puts you in the mood. Then there's music that puts you in the mood for different things. There's music that puts you in the mood for party, music that puts you in the mood for resting, music that puts you in the mood for, um, you know, and... <laughs> But then there's music that puts you in the mood for worship. There's music that puts you in the mood for worship. And God rides on music. God, the Holy Spirit, moves. Just like when the prophet said, in order for me to bring you the word of God, bring a minstrel. And let them play so I can hear from God. God sets the stage with music. So that's why that's important, that we have to start off with music. And that song was powerful enough to let you know. You no longer have dominion. <laughs> Jesus, help me. But I want you to put your hands together and welcome my first guest. These are Grammy Award, American Music Award, Stella Award, uh, NAACP Award winning bunch of women that are so powerful. God has called these sisters. These two sisters, Mary, uh, Mary, Mary, uh, these two sisters, Tina and Erica Atkins, married two cousins, Warren and Ted Campbell, and now they're, mm, well, I'll let them tell you. Put your hands together and give God praise for Mary, Mary. gentleman that sits on the on the <laughs> other side of the bookend this wonderful man dressed so so sharply so so dapper the man is just as sharp as a tack and he just happens to be the founder and the creator of Mary Mary he happens I'll to be <laughs> he happens to be the husband of the wonderful beautiful Erica Campbell And the brother-in-law of wonderful Tina Cannon. <laughs> and the son-in-law of wonderful Thomas Heat. Okay. <laughs> she said mom. clap for their mother. Yes, clap. Clap. Yes. And this is a this is a group that has really broken through the ceiling. Broken through the ceiling has really set the bar high and brought great integrity and great attention to gospel music. God sets people in place for his divine purpose. And their first hit about 2000 was Shackles. You know, Shackles. Uh, and from that point on, the rest is just total history. So I want you to put your hands together one more time for Mary Mary and Warren Campbell. Now, people see you now. They see you all now. They, 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 uh, they listen to your music, and they, 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 they go to your concerts. And all, all of this seems like it's such a, you know, Cinderella fairy tale kind of thing. But it had a beginning. Yes, absolutely. It, it had a beginning, and the beginning most folk aren't familiar with, how this all started. Where did these... Two women get the name Mary Mary, and how did Mary Mary come about? <laughs> well, even before that, it started at 3727 West 111th Place at Evangelistic Church of God in Christ, where Ella Charles E. Lawless <laughs> is our pastor. <laughs> Yes, we were born and raised in the church, grew up singing in the choir, from the, the children's choir to the regular choir to the school choir. And um, when an opportunity presented itself for us to have uh, a career, career doing music, you know, we're going to sing what's in our hearts to sing, what, what we live for. So, of course, we, we chose to sing God's music. Um, we, although we signed with a major label, we signed with um, Sony. I think we had written uh, the song Shackles and... I think we got to backtrack. I'm First, going, I'm yeah, going. you're going too fast. I'm going too fast. Slow down. Okay. <laughs> we <laughs> we were singing in stage plays, and we was Warren doing. was coming to a play, and he just saw a girl on the stage who was cute. My my. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, we went, we went actually to sing on a track for Dawkins and Dawkins, a gospel That's group right. we were working with. Yeah. And we in my mama's garage. In, his, in your mom's in garage. garage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think we went that time, and we went back again, and Tina played a tape and told him this is a song we made up. Made up. Yes. And <laughs> they made up a song called "What a Friend We Have in Jesus." <laughs> it wasn't. No. Well, I didn't know I would take it. on it. Stop well, it, Warren. <laughs> you know what we mean. But, you know, it grew from there, and he was like, you guys should be a group, because we'd been singing together in church our whole lives, but we were never, um, we never thought about being a group. And so when he suggested it, we were like, yeah, we should. And it just grew from there. And um, he did come up with the name that uh, Tina wasn't a fan of at first. Said, Mary, Mary, we Tina and Erica, where you get these Marys from? <laughs> but then a good old spiritual Erica. <laughs> uh, we decided to take the name from the two Marys in the Bible. Mary, yes. the mother of Christ, is considered perfect for it, for it to everyone. Mm -hmm. And then you have Mary Magdalene, whose story was a story of imperfection. But once she met Jesus, his love changed her. And these two Marys were right by his side on the way to the cross. Yeah, right by him when he rose from the dead. And so we, we, we used the name. We didn't even actually know. I'm going to tell you, let me just go on back. First of all, I, when we first became Mary Mary, I was like, I'm just a glorified like choir member. I didn't get it. I didn't really, I just knew that it was in my heart to sing what was in my heart. So I didn't understand the mantle of being a minister and an ambassador. I didn't understand none of that. I was just doing what I do. And had this, God told us that initially. I would have been like, no, God, I'm going I'm to go on the pass because <laughs> I don't want to do that. Be like, I'm not, I don't want to do that because I don't want the pressure because I'm not, I'm just saying, God, I'm just saying, what if I mess up for you? We don't want to do that. But um, I think we had realized it, like, after the fact. Yeah. But, but you know, you know, I think it, I'm just, first of all, I'm going too far. I'm ad-libbing too much. But I'm just grateful that God had given us this place. <laughs> but the fact that we were able to use the name Mary Mary to actually witness at the start, we were clueless until, like, the second, third record. When people didn't really want to hear anything but your song, we would introduce the name, and we were able to tell people about the unconditional love oh, Jesus. of Jesus. So thank you, Warren, for the name. Yeah. And thank you for doing the study. <laughs> and up and with... thank God for the rest. Thank God for the rest. <laughs> but, but you all, the production that you all had mm -hmm. was so um, a gospel. It wasn't, a, you know, it wasn't the gospel that we were used to. Yeah. Shackles was played, I think, on the secular stations way before it was played on the, on the Christian stations. Yeah. Yeah. Did you all get any flack from that, from, from the Shackles um, phenomena? Um, initially, yeah. um, got a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think once people started seeing us and hearing us talk about the song and they would actually listen to the song, um, they kind of changed their tune. I really, really thank God for... Um, the support of people from day one, like mom and pop Winans, we saw them somewhere, and they said, "Do do what you're doing, just the way you're doing it, because I, you're gonna reach." You know, that's a miracle, all about That's it. a miracle, yeah. right? With pop yeah. Winans, my right? God. Uh -huh. Mama my Shirley, God. Yeah. And, and you, you see, see. so many people that um, don't do our brand of gospel mm -hmm. um, gave us love and support and told us to keep moving and keep going. I remember we went to the Kojic convention, and we were terrified. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't know like, if we don't get gonna, booed if we don't do our good singing. If they was going to sling just, oil on us. We, yeah, you know, no. I love, <laughs> I love the people of God. I love the people of God. But sometimes it's we're not that pressure. nice well, yeah. to people. Yeah. So we don't bring them into Jesus with the love. It's more contention and anger. Sure, so we didn't know. Got, but yeah, it, yeah. It, it's, it's, well, remember, when you're dealing in, in the gospel music industry, mm -hmm. you're dealing with everybody who can sing. Yeah. Yes. And when people come in, it's a matter of, let me see what you got. Yeah. 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 It's not, let me praise God with you because yeah. you're here. Right. It's, mm -hmm. <laughs> can you hit that run right? Uh -huh. I think it should be but the latter. Know, I'll say this, when we were there, um, so many of the preachers and ministers and women of God came up to us and said, we love what you're doing. We're praying for you. So though I was scared and didn't know what they were going to say and right. how they go were going to receive us, they really did love us and support us. And I appreciate that even to this day. And it has kind of encouraged us and allowed us to move forward and keep doing what we do. I think, Erica, that they could also see the innocence and the excitement of being there. It's like, this is the Koji convention that I got lost in at four, running around, lost my shoe, <laughs> was up on the pool pitting it. Um, it, there's a child up here. She says her mama's name is Thomasina, <laughs> and my mama had to come find me at the Koji Convention. So for us to be up there on the stage, I was just like terrified. Wow. Like, 
We up here. <laughs> Ooh, what if they don't like us? But I'm, I'm grateful that we were well received. Yes. And yeah. we've been going forth ever since, yeah. as Erica said. Now, now you all's production team, your, yes. your production team That's him. Uh, uh, of, of, <laughs> right. of such magnitude. I mean, he is such a great and talented producer. Wow. <laughs> Uh, and God has given me faith. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, but, but, but I, I joke around, but, but Warren, you are so prolific at what you do. How many instruments do you play? Uh, I'll put it this way. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I, I thank God for my gift because I, I, I realized this maybe 10 years ago that I can play whatever I see somebody else play. Wow. If, if I watch you for long enough then, and I pick it up, then I can play it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and that amazed me. Just 10 years ago, wow. I realized, like, wow, I can really... It was the harmonica or the saxophone or... So oh, I figured this out, and I played it. And, uh, but that's, that's a gift. That's a gift. That's a gift. Yeah. That's, a gift. That, that's a gift that comes along... That's a gift that comes along with genius. When God, in, when God inspires you, when God breathes this musicality in you, there are certain degrees. Like, I still can't understand to this day how Kim Burrell sings, yeah. how Karen Clark yeah. sings. Yeah. I don't understand it to save my life. And, <laughs> and, and it's like you, you have to be some kind of rocket scientist in the Holy Ghost <laughs> in order to get how they do it. And, and it's the same thing with your production. Yeah. It's we just something we never that's... understand how or, or, or why God deposits certain things in us mm -hmm. and, and how it works even. All I know is I can do it. And, and, if, and perhaps if I knew how, I'd manipulate it in a way that didn't bring him glory. Right. Uh -huh. uh, so I, I thank God that I don't know how he did, did it, but I thank God he did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but how do, you, how, do you all, how do you all collaborate to get the type of songs that you get? Because I've got, I've got certain favorite Mary Mary songs. <laughs> Like, like the song they wrote with a friend we have in Jesus. I could not do it. <laughs> Our rendition. I, I, lo I love that rendition. I loved it. I, that's the song. I wouldn't even play Shackles. I would play that over and over again and wade in the water. I love that one. Yeah. And, then I, yeah, and then Get Up is my song. Yeah. Get Up is my song. Don't sit there. Get up. Get <laughs> Love your mood. Wait a minute. Awesome. No, what? what was that song of ours that we came oh, to your church? Real and party. You was, yeah. We didn't know the, the words. This, yes. It was the real party. Is get your shout and your dance, make That's some noise, move, move your feet and your hands. Shout. The what? man said, get, get your, your shorty, shorty and, and dance. dance. I said, Why would we write that, Why? Pastor? Why would we put that in the song? I don't know, but I wouldn't let them sing that at the church. I wouldn't let them sing. I changed the words of the song because I'm not. I said, you're not gonna get up here saying, get your shorty and dance. I can't believe you thought. Never said that. Listen, people lose their mind every day. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Y'all might have just become your demon possessor. <laughs> fighting for the devil. But, and, and I really, I thought it was get your shorty and dance. No, that... Make some noise. I'm saying they talk about clubbing, Jesus. <laughs> and, and, and that's why I, I tell them, you know, change that. Change those words. That's why that didn't make it into the favorites. No, that no, that was the favorite because we sing it. Every, we sing it every single I summer at our outdoor jams. Well, ain't that all right? Every single summer we, we sing appreciate that. it, and we still use my words because my words are better. And, <laughs> you know, but uh, it is well. Mm -hmm. What you all did, uh, and oh, God knows, sitting with me mm. oh. is my song. Yes. Sitting with yes. me is my song. Oh my goodness and Christ. It is my song. It's mine, too. What do you all do in your songwriting sessions? How do you all come up with songs? Well, first of all, we, we come to the studio, and of course, every time we, we, we start writing, we pray, and we submit our gifts to God, and we ask him to give, give us what he wants the world to hear from us. Um, but sometimes the saints be a little dry going into the studio if they, they hadn't written in a little while, so we have to get our whack juice out. That's what Warren calls juice. it. So we write the first two or three songs that kind of a little mediocre, and then we store those in the closet. And then we get to the good stuff. Um, I mean, you know what? Can I say this, though? And I say it all the time. We don't write any songs. Mm -hmm. Take dictation. God writes the songs. We take dictation. Wow, wow, wow. That's, I mean, how do you, how do you hear from God when you're preparing a sermon? Mm -hmm. He tells you what to say. Mm -hmm. and, you, and if we're preparing, this is a, a sermon, but in music. Yeah. So unless he tells us to say it, why would we, why would we ever say it? Yeah. Why, would, why would we sing it? Yeah. yeah. But, but I, I like the way you put it. The way you said 
that God writes the song and you just take dictation. What do you yeah. want us to t- What do you want us to say? Yeah. Unbelievable. That's it. But that seems to have been the the the, the formula. Yeah. For the success of Mary Mary, because it's it, you all are songwriting phenomenous to me, honestly. Thank you. Now, now I'm not saying this because we're on TBN. I'm saying this honestly. That's huge. The type, you. The type of songs that, that right? you all write make you sit back and really, it's so diverse. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, you can hope, there's some artists that have a signature. Mm-hmm. That every time you hear a song that they yeah. write, it's the same signature. Mm-hmm. And that's that's good, you know, because Walter Hawkins, well, no, I can't say Walter, because Walter had right. such a multi- yeah. Yeah. A diverse, oh, man. everything in the yeah. world, you know, all the but, good stuff. But like, like Rich Smallwood, if you hear a song, you know it's you him. You know it's right. him, because yeah. it's that classic sound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you all have such a diversity of writing. You all go from pop, uh, what was that one that you did? I gotta get a... The, 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 oh, slow, slow walk. walk. Slow walk. <laughs> oh. that, that, that brought me into the mind of Barbara Streisand. Bar- Barbara, oh, Streisand wow. did a bro- Barbara Streisand did a, a Broadway CD that and she had put, yes. putting it together. Uh, putting it together, which is one of my favorite songs. Putting, bit, putting it together. Uh-huh. Yes. By peace. Yes. Yes. Make a work of art. And it brought me in mind of that. Where did that slow walk come from? You know what? It's funny. Warren we had finished walk, doing walking, yeah. and Warren sampled walking and made slow walk. And so because the song walking was about going through life and making sure your light is shining, and what, you know, it was a question actually to believers, like what do people see when they see you? What does your life look like? And slow walk was about taking your time, yeah. not letting the moments pass, you know, having your eyes open, double checking your plan and then checking it twice and making sure you check it with God after you do all of the ch- all that you're going to do. And it was just, I, I'm really proud of that song because it's real creative, but the, the lyrics make you think. And I think most of yeah. our lyrics are like that. It's not, we don't write Jesus on the main line kind of gospel, even though Jesus is on the main line. Yeah. We write songs about after you leave church and you in the grocery store and somebody get on your nerves, how do you condition your mind right. so you don't say the wrong thing while you're lying? Right. You know what I mean? After like, you and got I, fired from I didn't your like, job. You know, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get that at first. And I was like, God, why won't you give us, you know, music like, like other gospel artists? And we would right. have this different stuff. And it would be so challenging for us to go to a gospel event and someone get up and they're worshiping and then we get up and they're kind of looking at us. But we go to a mainstream event where nobody knew God and they'll go, I want to know Jesus. What is yeah. this? Like, I, 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 I get like this. Y'all. I understand. Yeah. I like y'all brand of gospel. Like, it make me think about myself and who I am and how I can get to know God. And, you know, that's a challenge sometimes as a Christian because we have our idea of what God and gospel is supposed to look like. But sometimes God gives you something that's so distinctly different from everybody else. And sometimes you have to accept what he's exactly. giving you in order for you to fully um, live out what he has called you to do. I'm, I'm just really grateful for yeah. it. To get to get it. Now, I have, I've got three more points okay. that I want to touch on. I've got three more things that I want to touch on. Just three. Somebody three. say three. 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 Hallelujah. Three <laughs> more things that I want to touch on. <laughs> today, today, May 8th, yes. Yes. today, you have a brand new release, a brand new project that just hit the market. Yes. Called Go Get It. Called Go, Go Get It. And really, honestly, honestly, y'all, Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> go get it. <laughs> go to JNR Music. Go yes. to Amazon.com, iTunes. Go wherever you need to Walmart. go. Walmart. Walmart. Go, go get, it. get it. Go forth and get uh, it. I, I, go I want and go get it. I want 12 million people of you. You're talking right. Go and get. It. Go get. It. You're talking right. Go I receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Go find it, go call about it, go get it. Go get it. But, but tell us about this project. Tell us about Go Get It. I, that, that's, that's the single, yes. as well as the name of the, the whole the project. The name of the CD. Um, that song just kind of led the way, so we de- decided to let that be uh, the title of the CD. But this song, Go Get It, is basically how we have pursued our careers and pursued life. Um, we grew up, you know, financially challenged, a family of nine, Two ba- no, family of nine kids, two bedroom, all the nine of us in one. You know what I mean? Just, you know, we didn't have a lot, but we always had the faith to believe that God could do anything. We didn't, we didn't, I remember, you know, one of the years, some, one of our family members was like, we poor, we don't have nothing. I was like, we ain't poor, we just don't have some things. <laughs> I was, I was five years old. Uh-huh. I was about like five, six years old and really didn't know it. I was just like,
like you don't let no situation uh, define you. We just don't have it yet. We're going to be all right. And I, and I always, and my mama also, my mama and daddy taught us how to pay our tithes and give our offering and so into the kingdom. And I believe that scripture that said God will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you have not room enough to receive. Come on now. So I was like, now, we've been, I've been paying my tithes since we were selling candy. And I was paying I had my little $55, or if I, had, if I had $3, I was paying my tithes and giving my offering. And then we, we do commit ourselves to our work. We do, we do work hard. When we've, when we've committed to it, we commit to our commitments. And so I think that God has blessed our, our commitment and, and, and that sowing at an early age, that being uh, faithful over nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we were just in the choir, paying for our own uniforms, paying for the trips, going to all of the pastor's wife anniversaries and flying out of the state with your pastor on your own dime and all that kind of stuff. I think God saw that and he blessed our faithfulness. Now, I could never try to say, oh, we're in this position because dot, 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 because that wouldn't be true right. because I don't understand why. Mm-hmm. I just know that it's God's favor. But I know that we started at an early age being faithful when there was no money. There were no awards. There was just a hand clap and a smile. And we were content with that. We were content standing behind others, Mm -hmm. singing with them, not always wanting their space, just happy to be using our gifts. And so when we got to this point... When we got to this point, we didn't feel entitled. You know, we felt blessed. And even now, we're not here because we're so phenomenal. I mean, because I can't sing nothing like Kim Burrell. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, it just gets a little strange when I got to sing behind Kim Burrell because I'm like, God, can't nobody do that stuff. But, you know what I mean? But we know that God has given what God has us given you a gift. You to be okay. I Absolutely. think Go Get It is like, it's a faith song. I love the first verse. It's like you're looking through a telescope. You see, you see where, where you're going to be. be. Growing, getting better. You're not the person they see. You can't be mad, mad at the things you've, you've been, been through because it builds your muscle. Mm. Yeah. Now you're stronger than you've ever been. Yeah. You can't stop your muscle. Your faith ain't never small. That's, That's what brought me. you this far. See, so you, you got, got your dreams, dreams and you got, got your prayers, prayers and you got, got your God. God. He's going to take you there. Yeah. See, everybody has a season. And I believe this one's yours because you've been working, waiting. This is what you've been praying and for. And that is what we have stood on our entire lives. I know I can have it because God said I can. I'm, I'm lining my requests and my wants and my desires up with his will yeah, for my life. Word, right. So I know I can have it. Amen. Why I don't have it now? Because it ain't my time yet. Amen. But why am I going to get it now? Because it is my time now. <laughs> Amen. I think that the key verse that I heard you say is everybody has, has the their season. season. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Everybody has their season and people don't realize when their season comes and sometimes seasons pass you by when you're not cognizant when you're not paying attention this is exactly the the the, the whole uh, content of the song is exactly where people need to be Mm -hmm. they need to know that when you have a time and a season that arrives you don't have to wait you've been waiting so long that you've gotten used to waiting Uh uh-huh so that when your season comes you're still in your waiting mode, but when your season hits, you're supposed to get up from where you are and go get it. Hallelujah. The song, the song is just pushing us to put our faith in action. Now, we know there are times, like you said, that we have to wait on the Lord. But if you're saying, God, I want a job, God ain't going to sign that application for you. You go to go in there. If you're saying, God, I want a promotion, well, you're going to have to have the guts to go in there and apply for it, even though you're not qualified. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you got to go knock on the door for it to open. Now, God, take, in, Lord, I want you to mir- I want you to miraculously plant me at the place and just let everything come to me. You have to go yeah. do something. And so this song is charging you to get up and go after what God has for you and have the faith to expect to see that blessing manifest. So, Erica, what I want you to do real quick is I want you to look right into that camera and I want you to pray for some people who need to understand the timing of God. Just simply, it doesn't have to be prolific, it just has to be from that heart. Release them to move into what God has called them to move into. Very briefly, very quickly. Just pray for them. God, I thank you right now for that person that's watching. 
that has put in the time and they've been waiting and they've been fasting and they know that you've called them and they know that you've chosen them but they've been a little hesitant and a little fearful we bind that fear right now in the name of Jesus and I command you in the name of Jesus to get up and go out and go after what God has called you to do what he's chosen you to do no more fear no more worries no more doubt whatever you believe without doubt it shall be done in the mighty name of Jesus and we proclaim it we declare it done right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for that person that's going to start their new business. I thank you, God, for that person that's going back to school. I thank you, God, that's going to mend for that person that's going to mend that relationship that's been broken so long. I thank you for the healing in the bodies of the people right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we claim it done right now. Thank God. And everybody says, Amen. I'm trying, I'm trying to hold it together. I'm trying, Hallelujah. I'm, on the, I'm trying Hallelujah. to hold it together here. But see, y'all don't understand. Hallelujah. Even before we got out of here, while Jason was singing, yes. you no longer have dominion over me. Mm. person that works with Mary Mary came up to me and said that the doctors had diagnosed her with MS and a brain tumor had come back and was on her brain. But all she listened to was, you no longer have dominion over me. And, and, and when, when, that, when that word comes through, spoken word or through a song, and you grab a hold of it, your faith grabs a yeah. hold of it, there's a miracle on the other end of that. There's a miracle. And I decree, I decree a miracle for someone in a yes, physical Lord. situation right now. Hallelujah. I can decree a miracle for someone fighting in their body with their health. Yes. I decree a supernatural healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Through this broadcast, yeah. through these words, through the anointing coming through this screen, Hallelujah. I command yeah. healing in the, in the name, of, name of Jesus Christ. We together with our combined faith Hallelujah. call on the power of Jehovah Rapha and Hallelujah. declare that God is Christ. so that he can do what he said he's going to do. So by our proclamation, we release the power of God in your life and God will do what he said he will do. I want everybody to give God praise. show. Yes. Called Mary Mary. Yes. Uh, anybody out here get a chance to watch Mary Mary? And God is just opening up so many doors yes, for you all. So many yes. doors. It is wonderful to see how God is just opening up the platform for the kingdom's agenda. Yes. Tell us about the reality show. The reality show follows us trying to be mothers and wives and being Mary Mary and the challenges of trying to be submissive to our husbands while at the same time being in control of our business, trying to um, be good sisters in business and be good stewards over all that God has given us and the chaos that comes along with it. because it's a lot of chaos, but what we are committed to is we're committed to family, we're committed to this ministry that God has given us, um, we're committed to being honest and not yeah. being fake or phony, um, 
you know, there are confessionals on the show and they ask how you feel and sometimes we don't always feel the greatest and we'll say that and I think it's going to liberate some people who think that they have to be perfect in order to come yeah. to God. I think it's going to allow some people who don't know that there are some he healthy marriages in the body of Christ to see how we are with our husbands. Um, and how things kind of don't always go according to plan, but it is in God's plan and it is in God's order. Um, I'm just, I'm so grateful for this opportunity to have this show because usually it's our music that inspires. And now I'm praying and hoping that our life and our lights are shining to allow us to inspire. There's one thing that I was able to read because, you know, there's tons of reviews out there and a lot of them have been very good. And I, I was grateful to, uh, to, to hear that because our show is not like every show out right. there. We were not willing to be something other than who we are mm -hmm. just for ratings to turn up. I'm not being crazier than I am because I'm just saying <laughs> I got enough to deal with just being it just how I am. Me and God, we have to work it out regularly. So we don't have to be no more crazy than, you know. So, you know. <laughs> but I was, I was actually really happy to see this one of the reviews in uh, the New York Times uh, that said it, it, this show is able to pe peel back the facade that everybody in the faith-based world is just flawless and it's just they're, just they're just always in the praise mode and 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 I know some people are like well that means because you're compromising but I thought when you make your God so inaccessible to anybody that's not serving him then they don't even try to access him if you can show people the love of God and they feel like there's something about you that's tangible and you the only God that they know then they want to touch and feel and know your God and so I was really excited to see, to see that. And again, not that we show perfection because we're not perfect. We're aiming for perfection, but we fall. We get back on up, though. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but you're showing people that you're striving to please God. If you get it wrong, you repent. You yes. know what I mean? You continue to work on yourself because we do want to see Jesus one day. But see, the, the reality show, it gives people a chance to see just that. Yeah. See, on the stage... On the pulpit on Sundays, on the concert stages, all they see is the perfection. Yeah. yeah. All they see is the Jesus, the God in me. Ah, <laughs> you know, ah, that, yes, that is a riff. All, the, what that? all they get a chance to see is, you know, the, the production, yeah. the, the, the pristine preaching, the pontification. Right. But they don't get to see the imperfections that go along with every day. Right. The behind the scenes, the at home, the yeah. dealing with relationships, with husbands, with each other. Mm -hmm. And that's what your show has given us a, a, a leeway into, a, a, a eyes view into your lives. Yeah. To see Christians in everyday life. practical life. Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, it's not like any other reality show because this deals with the real deal of Christianity. Yeah. Absolutely. A lifestyle. Mm -hmm. What does it look like Monday through Friday? You know what I look like on Sunday because mm -hmm. all is well. I'm smiling. How you doing? Blessed and highly favored. God is just with me. I'm walking with the Lord. How about you? It ain't like that all the time. No, let's just be real. Right. Sometimes I'm like, Lord, I'm on the ground and I can't even push myself back up. I need you to reach down here and grab me. Or sometimes Some... it's like, you, just, you better get out of my face because I'm about up to here with you. I'm on some... Oh my Jesus, I'm about up to here with you. And you get a little bit yeah, me, and, me and my dear, dear sweet sister, we're working on it. We, we, yeah. We're doing better. She too. wasn't so nice to me on the show. I Everybody was thought Tina was Tina. spicy. When this girl wasn't nice to me at all on the show. I was. But, no, it, you but, but, I love you. But it wasn't just on the show then. It, that must be the way it is all the well, time. Well, yeah, but when I saw... You know what? Y'all know what's crazy? When I saw our life play back, because I'm not used to looking at my life. I'm just used to living it. So when I saw it back, I would be more mad at Erica than I was in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like... You Tina. called me going off, and I said, Tina, we already passed that and apologized. The episode came on, and, and it's over. Why are you mad again? <laughs> I'm just saying I felt the emotion again, but I'm, I'm grateful that our show is... <laughs> I'm grateful that our show is real enough that when I see it, I feel every emotion that was going on because we were committed to letting you see what it's like, the good days and, and the, the bad, bad days. days. Yeah, and so, you know, and, and I really want... I want the Christian body. I want the Christian body to believe and understand the vast platform that gospel has, the vast platform that the kingdom has. When we were on before, we had a fashion designer, we had a film producer. Mm -hmm. This is what we're doing. God has given us the leeway, the, the, the headway into all of these different genres, yeah. all these different platforms, and says, be this light here. Yes. Be mm -hmm. this representative here. Show people the fullness, the roundness, the wholeness, this trichotomy of life called Christianity, yeah. body, soul, and spirit. Yeah. And let them see that everything works 
works together mm -hmm. for the good of everyone that loves, loves the, the Lord. Lord. Yeah. That's what it is. So my, my admonition, my admonition to every Christian is when you see Christians and believers and brothers and sisters venturing out into greater platforms, don't, don't be so quick to judge it yeah. with harsh judgments. Support it. Push it. Lift it up. And if there are any faults and failures, let God work that out. But he's opened up the door for his purpose. He's given us this time and he's given us this platform in this dark day to show that the light will always outshine in the darkness. Just like uh, I, I was in the back and, and, and Jojo came to me and said, did you hear that last night that they played Stand? They sang Stand on the hit show Smash? And I'm like, oh, so Jesus. Awesome. And I'm sitting right. like cleaning up my room and don't even know that the song is on the, the, the hit show Smash. That's, wow. I'm, I'm Have somebody you ever even watched now. that show? I'm somebody. <laughs> Have you been somebody? somebody? Did you, actually, the question is, did you ever see the show before? No. Never, Have you ever heard of the show? No. I love you. <laughs> Man. I just know what it is. It's a hit but show like, and I'm on it. All, all I know is that they said they was playing the show. The song on the show. This is what God is doing in this last day. Mm -hmm. so, so whatever you see happening in the kingdom, when you see Mary Mary going forth in their reality show and all of that stuff, let the Christian body be the first one yes. to tune in. Let the ratings go through the roof. Yes. Yes. Lift them up, take them to the place that it has to be recognized. Now, you got to go. You got to go. Because y'all going to sing your song, uh, Go Get It. Yes. But before you sing that song, Go Get It, your husbands. Yes. Your husbands. I want to talk about, see, Ted couldn't be here because he plays for Johnny, uh, for, for, for Johnny Cos. Johnny. He yeah. plays, plays for Jay, Jay Leno. Leno. I'm 52. What do you expect? <laughs> he plays for Jay Leno. He's the drummer for the, for the band, Jay Leno. So Ted couldn't be here tonight. But Warren, they got a group called the Soul Soul Yes, sir. Six. My God. <laughs> The Soul Seekers, and they sing the good old quartet yes, song. Sir. Quartet. Yeah. Quartet. My quartet. God. And you, are, I don't know why you all ventured into that, but I want to do something that's probably going to throw the producers into a head spin. I want you to get up and come to this piano right here. That's why it's here. You didn't know that. Praise the Lord. Okay. And, and, and the you are so prolific at the keyboards. And, you, okay. and he sings, too. Yes, he, he does. He writes. He's he awesome. sings. He plays the bass. He's awesome. He plays the clarinet. <laughs> he produces. Yes. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so so just, just play a little bit of something. Just play a little bit of something.